On this tutorial, we're going to learn how to uh, use uh, GIMP and uh, OpenOffice Impress to uh, create uh, a great looking presentation uh, using the uh, uh, GIMP to create our background for our presentation and, uh, and see how uh, we can put it all together. And hopefully, you will have uh, success in uh, creating your own. Uh, presentation. Uh, first, uh, we're going to start this uh, again. We're going to be using GIMP, and hopefully, you will have uh, knowledge on how to use GIMP. Uh, we are going to start uh, by creating a new file, and we are going to create uh, that file uh, using one of the template size, which is uh, 1024 by 768, which is probably the most common size uh, screen resolutions for uh, uh, desktop. And we're also going to select and use the white as our background. And what we got here is our image. And I'm going to resize this so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, what we first we're going to do is uh, we're going to we basically have an outline of our presentation which I want to have uh, an arc here, an arc here and we're going to use a granite towards the middle lining to the middle and then we're going to have in the middle a white area to where our presentation is going to be with our logo at the bottom and that's what uh, we're going to do. In order to create that um, first we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, create a new layer since we want our background to remain white and uh, any mistakes will be on the new layer so we create a new layer and we're going to have it set for transparency and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and select our eclipse uh, select tool and we're going to start by creating a circle here and again we are just going to play around with this until we get basic shape and size are of, uh, of Eclipse and I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so we can see the whole this is our image here and we want our Eclipse uh, tool here to touch the edges and I'm going to say that's good right there. I'm going to press enter and then after this uh, we're just going to do one side you know, we could do both sides and what we're going to do is our selection right now is in the middle but what we want is this portion and this portion to have the granite effect going towards here. Well, we'll go ahead and do one side so this way we can get the effect that I'm looking for. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the square uh, or rectangle select tool and what we're going to do is we, we are going to create our size past our image size because we are going to go from here and select towards the middle. So basically this is going to be cutting it but we are going to hold the uh, control button down to basically, um, let's do that again, I think it's the shift button here That's now it's the, the control button and basically what we're going to do is, uh, first we're going to invert this so it's selecting the area outside the circle and we are going to create the box here and that's how we create one half and press enter so now we have this here selected uh, again when, once you create the uh, eclipse uh, you invert your selection to select the outside of your drawing and then you use the square to and holding down the control key to remove half of the selection so now we have this half here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go and use um, the blend tool 
and within the blend tool we are going to use uh, background foreground granites and we are going to select sort of like a, a bluish uh, color until you're satisfied with that and this is what it looks it's going to look like where it's going to go from your back uh, foreground color to your background color and we can come back to our image and we're just going to start from the beginning here and make sure you have a straight line and we get our granite look so once we have that we're going to hold the control shift and A or you can go up to select and clear your selection basically what I did is is uh, cleared uh, that this selection none. So now we have half of our background, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layers and duplicate it. And then once we duplicate it, we'll come over here in our layers and verify that we have two of them. We're gonna clear, select our new layer, and that one we are going to transform, and we are going to flip it horizontally so now we have our image here that we're looking for what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to create another layer and uh, again we're going to have transparency and within that new layer we are going to create another uh, rectangular selection tool and using our guide here we are going to use roughly the the ruler here here to maintain the same size now I'm going to use if you can see the arrows I'm going to use so it can maintain the same distance all the way around And once that good, press enter, and that's your selection. And then now uh, we're going to use the fill bucket. I'm going to switch these around because I want white. And we're going to fill it in. Once that is done, again, Control Shift A to, se to make sure you don't have no selection. We want to put a shadow behind that to give it an appearance that our presentation area is standing up from the background and in order to do that we're going to go up to filters we're going to go to lights and shadows you might not be able to see this but under the light and shadows there's an option for drop shadows the window will come up in here we're just going to use the default settings and uh, we are currently to make sure is that we have our current layer here is selected is our new layer that has our our, our newly created white square in the middle um, my window kinda let me minimize this we won't need that right now and we are going to create our drop shadow and just use the default settings and let it create so now it's standing out as it was in